This is Velocity Killer 13 here with another toy review. This is the 1971 vintage Hedera toy, about six inches tall or something. I got this from friends, not in, on eBay. It's pretty rare. Of course, this is the last of the rare figures that I'll be reviewing. The rest will be a little bit more common. Now let's look at detail. Of course, you see all of his flesh. It's all gooey and yellowish, red, silver, and black. And he's got cracks on his head. And of course, he's got large, overly eyes. This is definitely one of the weirdest toys I have ever had. Now let's look at size. Now, this is the closest figure I have to Godzilla vs. Hedera, and this would be the 1954 Godzilla because this is the only Showa Godzilla I have. Looks pretty good. Have them duke it out. And of course, I'm not sure if the 1968 figure could fit. I don't know. I never had it, and I never will. Well, this is Velocicular 13 signing out, but there's something else I want to show you. Okay, I'm back. Well, you see that... Well, this appears to be some regular Honey Nut Cheerios box, but note that my mother bought this in March. Look, there's bats. It's all orange. There's an ominous metal fence in the background. Let's check out the back. Look, it's a Honey Nut Cheerios B in the form of a jack-o'-lantern. And of course, at the bottom, there's Cookie Crisp, Tricks, and Lucky Charms. How outdated. It's not like that, um chocolate frosted flakes with that purple and green shark that I showed to you many videos ago. That was just generic. This is outdated. Win or fail.